think one of the craziest things about playing this is that I'm actually playing with Untrue Ninja right now. I'm playing with like two or three grandmasters and I'm the only one that's going to lead on this. So this is going to be fun. I was so excited to play. At, okay, at this point right here, I was wondering where we're going to land. Mainly because this was the first time I'm ever going to play with him. I was really worried about making a good first impression on three grandmasters. So at this point right here, we're going to firing range earlier in the day. I got 17 kills in that area. But as you can see during this video, I basically did not do my best. So as I'm playing right here, I had to pick up two of my favorite guns, the MK9 and the AK-117. AK-117, I feel, is highly underrated when it comes to firing it. But as you can see, whoever gets the first kill, that's the boy Michael Scott. The Michael Scott is number one. See right there, he just got the first kill with a shotgun. But if you see where number four is, that's Untrue Ninja. This man has basically is one of the reasons why I'm starting to do this full time again. I mean, I got help from a lot of other people, but he was mainly I keep seeing him post on uh, on Twitter. If I can, I'll put his Twitter his link to his Twitter in his bio. It in the link of the description. If he gives me permission, I hope he will. But this was a good game for all of us all around. And if anyone knows me, they know I'm a big horror fan. And right here, I'm a cornfield cornfield. You know, that's how cornfield. I'm just thinking of the cornfield from Children of the Corn. Again, Michael Scott just got another kill. Dirty Dan got another kill. I did this in front of him, and I messaged him after the game, and I was like, dude, that was, a good, like, that was a good game, but I feel like I could have done better, considering who I was playing with. And he's like, nah, man, you're alright, you're alright. I was like, nah, man, because I'm playing against, I'm playing with three Grandmasters on their level, so I basically had to do my absolute best and show out with all of them. At this point, I wasn't sure how they thought of me as a player on their team right now. And I wasn't sure how well we were going to be able to gel. But all that is was answered in a few moments from this from this point on. The safe zone is collapsing. The airdrop is coming. Yeah, one of the coolest things about playing with you guys is they actually play like a cohesive team. And right here, I did not. Un I, I thought that was the coolest thing I've ever seen in this game. So, oh, you're about to see something pretty cool, very interesting.
guys are about to see why I say that these guys act like an actual team. They're, of course, these two guys have been playing forever. They just added, well, Untrue Ninja added me and in this game just to show his friends like who, like who I am and everything, but you're about to see them wipe out a whole squad. Of course, over here, I'm going back to the plane. I was like, no, they forgot me. I'm really thankful these guys let me play with them. Of course, they could have said, no, don't have this guy play. We don't know anything about this guy. This guy probably is probably a garbage. He's probably trash. Hmm. Alright, at this point, here is where we start getting a little bit of action. I didn't get credit for that, but everyone else got credit for it. <laughs> I was so... I mean, this part right here made me was like, okay. I just had to play a that didn't work. Hey, I got it. I think I got it. I don't know if I got it. I don't know if I got it. I don't know if I got it. Of course, all the fog. I don't know. Of course, these guys are trying to play like a tribunal. I'm just trying to survive in all this. I'm just trying to show everyone that yeah, I can well hang with a, with a couple grandmasters. Might be some good supplies this way. Roger that. Never mind. Crap, I just messed up in front of everyone. Well, thankfully they had my back, so I re I avenged them later. But this is this right, this part right here was was one of the, the one of the reasons why I just wanted to quit and be like, oh no, I just messed up in front of everyone. Then I seen like un like I seen uh, Unter Ninja just grab all my stuff and was like, all right, we're gonna basically. Continue. I still don't know what that purple thing is all on the screen. Oh man, this is fun to play with all of them. Engaging the enemy! 
Airdrop stuff. Enemy vehicles near the gun for. Drop is coming. Reloading. We can land here. Airdrop has been delivered. Airdrop, Airdrop is coming. Down to the last five teams. Airdrop, Airdrop is coming.
So if you got this far in the video, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. And this was the best game I played with on Tune Ninja.